the Mr. Nile Nickel. Uh, check out Nile's top technology tips online. He is absolutely amazing, and he joins us today here on our big program. So, Nile, you you have all sorts of different um, tips and tricks and all sorts of things. And yesterday, I thought of you when I went over to the uh, to the news sites, and I found out that. Uh, Apparently, Clarence Thomas wants Facebook and all these people to be governed like a utility. Um, give me your take on this whole thing. Well, you know, this is one of these these no win situations. Um, the the Facebooks, Twitters, and so on and so forth of the world are private companies, right? And so uh, they wanted to be treated like such. However. As you probably know, at this point in time, better than 60% of the American public gets their news from social media. So whether it's Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Instagram, whatever. And so they're really falling into a category that we've never considered. And uh, as usual, the laws and regulations uh, don't always catch up. Obviously, after the... Uh, 2018 and 2020 elections, social media has become such a big political tool. They're trying to figure out how to put some of the same rules in place on social media that uh, that apply to television stations, radio stations, and newspapers. Um, my personal opinion is is that that certainly we need to do something because unfortunately. Uh, a private company is now able to dictate what users can and cannot say on their platform. And uh, unfortunately, if they were truly a private company, it was just a private club, it would be one thing, but um, they've become much more than that. And right now, if you look at most of these sites, they're deriving a large amount of their revenue from media sharing, uh, i.e. news media sharing. So, uh, you know, I think that there's got to be some more regulations. Should they be treated like a utility? Yeah, I don't think so. But, uh, you know, obviously lots of issues there. So, Niall, uh, besides some of the different things going on uh, with social media, what, what else do you have for us this week, my friend? Well, I, I don't know if you've paid much attention, but WhatsApp is a security app uh, for, for encryption end-to-end. -end. However... It's recently been discovered that maybe it's not so secure. People could sort of hack into it. And that, uh, that WhatsApp is one of the biggest apps. It's owned by Facebook now. Facebook bought it a few years ago. Well, it turns out just this past week in a Facebook leak, uh, Mark Zuckerberg's information was accidentally leaked. Isn't that funny? Wow. And it was revealed that he uses the Signal app, which is not a Facebook app, and it's considered <laughs> to be the most secure app uh, that actually became very, very popular when everybody found out that what WhatsApp was no longer secure. So you have to follow the, uh, the Facebook leader himself to find out that he's now using Signal, not his own product, because it's not <laughs> secure enough. <laughs> so... I guess the, the the next question is: So, what 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 are they going to do uh, to fix the security concerns? What security concerns? We have no problem. <laughs> we have now, no remember, this was concerns. where his own data was leaked, so uh, it'll be interesting to hear what it is. Like, you know, they're very secure, yeah, and this was just an inadvertent situation. It will never happen again. Until it happens the next time. Again, yes. <laughs> it is Niall Nickel with us today. Niall's te top technology tips. So w what else do you have for us, my man? You know, I, I, I have to say, you know, when we're talking about the different social media sites, you know, Google doesn't exactly fall into the social media site, but obviously a lot of data flows through Google. And it turns out that Google's security team publicly exposed just recently a nine-month hacking operation. The only problem was is it was a U.S. counterterrorism operation that was being conducted 
by a Western government. But uh, Google found that they were exploiting some vulnerabilities, and they decided to not only publish the vulnerabilities but shut them down. And wow. um, it turns out the uh, vulnerabilities were specifically targeting, targeting North Korea, China, and Russia. And uh, interestingly enough, Google thought that that was inappropriate and decided to shut it down. But uh, I'm just curious how many of those uh, efforts from North Korea, China, and Russia to the U.S. has Google shut down. But just saying. <laughs> so uh, Niall Nichol joins us today. He uh, each and every week brings us all the different top technology tips and some of the different things going on. So. Uh, what, what what other little bits and nuggets of information do you have for us? Well, you know, we just uh, had the U.S. Uh, Congress, uh, you know, get this bill that was the $2 billion bill, or $2 trillion bill, forgive me. I'm getting the zeros <laughs> in the wrong place there. Where, um, yeah, that was just a Freudian slip, that's all. Uh, but uh, where they're trying to improve our national infrastructure and one of those things is a nationwide fiber program to improve our internet speeds right and uh, AT&T just came out and uh, they're lobbying against this proposal to subsidize fiber to home because they said you know really 10 megabit upload speeds are good enough for anybody that's what we have and you're gonna like it <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, so I, I thought that was rather interesting. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to improve it. We're going to bring our network into the 21st century. Um, but Google says, hey, our, our 21st century plan is to make sure you have 10 megabits. So, Wow. Uh, that should put us right at the de- bottom of the developed nations, by the way. Yes. Well, I, I just... It's just such a strange world we all live in. <laughs> That's a strange world. So, uh, so Niall, as we wrap up here with you, my friend, uh, how do we get in touch with you online and social media and everything else? You know, the easiest way is, uh, as you talk about it, go on that Twitter box. Get me at Niall Nickel, and that's Niall like the river and Nickel like the coin. Or you could go to Facebook, go to Niall Nickel's Top Technology Tips. You could see everything we talk about and much, much more. Plus, you get the opportunity to chat with me there as well. Awesome, awesome. Well, Niall, I will talk to you next week. And uh, thank you for doing this, my friend. Really appreciate it. And until then, make sure you communicate on Signal. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you, brother. There he goes. The great Nile Nickel. And uh, apparently our site is experiencing a, a technical issue, apparently. So uh, I guess I'm going to have to go jump on that. So let's take a time.